Hey guys, welcome to Technability. I am Berge. We have an LG G2 running Android KitKat 4.4.2. So I received this update actually about a week ago, um, but I actually just wanted to get a feel for it before I did a review. You can see 4.4.2. We got KitKat on the G2 with LG's overlay. So uh, if you guys have watched my channel, you've seen that I did a comparison between stock LG with their overlay versus CM11 with KitKat 4.4.2. Um, but in this case, it's LG's overlay on top of KitKat, and there are a few subtle differences. Before I get into anything, uh, the LG G2 is arguably, in my opinion, one of the most underrated, if not the most underrated phone on the market. It's an absolutely gorgeous device. Viewing angles are beautiful. The screen is absolutely gorgeous. It's fast. It's got a Snapdragon 800 processor, 2.26 gigahertz, clocked in at 2.26. Two gigs of RAM comes in a 32 and 64 gigabyte model. It's absolutely gorgeous. This device, uh, I've been using it as a daily driver. A lot of people ask me, what's your daily driver? I have a few, you know, I do still use the 5S. I still do still have a Note 3, I have a Lumi as well. <laughs> I got a lot of phones, guys, what can I say? But the G2 has been one of my favorite phones simply because of the sheer fact that it's absolutely just gorgeous. I love the fact that the screen or the front of the device looks like it's almost all, all screen. It doesn't look like there's much bezel. Now if these buttons were say down here, it'd be e even more phenomenal in my opinion. But uh, you can see with a black background, if you just look at it, gl a glance at it for a moment, it looks like the entire front is a screen. No bezel, right? Uh, and repair on this thing is easy. It's easy to repair the screen. The back does pop off if you were to pry it off with like say a, a pick or something. So it's an easy phone to repair as well. And we do have a, a digitizer replacement video. You guys can check that out as well. Now getting to KitKat here, if I go to the lock screen, of course you have the double tap feature, which has been improved. It has been improved and of course it's not working when I need it to work. There you go. Okay, so let's try that again here. Double tap and you unlock it, okay? Double tap and it locks it. Double tap and lock it. You can see the lock screen, nothing changed. It just feels better. I mean, I will say that the phone overall, and this is a KitKat thing, feels smoother. Now with 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, it still felt you know, pretty smooth. It was a fast system. But with KitKat, you have that extra, just that extra feel, or that bounciness, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It's like everything's immediate to your touch. If I go to settings, I go to music, technability.com. Play Store Maps, you can see how fast that is, and this is stock, guys. YouTube doesn't have that YouTube lag anymore, or at least not for the most part. And of course, multitasking, you could just swipe them away or clear all. It's definitely faster. I mean, panning through the screens, going to my widgets, um, of course, setting up a widget, easy to do. I could set up a calendar widget, for example. Put that right there if I want to. It's going to rearrange all my icons. I could remove it. Okay. So it's an absolutely fantastic system in terms of just sheer speed and fluidity. I mean, this thing, they definitely upped it a notch. You do still have the menu options down here, back button, of course. If you go to settings, you have the variety of different settings, date time, et cetera, et cetera, date time. Uh, gestures, you have the gesture-based system here. So you could uh, adjust the various different gestures, which they had with Jelly Bean, but just wanted to emphasize on that. Home screen options, of course. You have the display options as well, brightness. There's a lot of customizations with LG's overlay. I think they're the most customized overlay in terms of Android stock, you know, out the box. You get a ton of customizations. It's almost like they took uh, what launchers present in the Play Store and what a lot of custom ROMs present, and they basically implemented it here with their system, and it's done really well. I mean, I'm a fan of it. 4.2.2 uh, Jelly Bean did feel a little clunky. KitKat? It does not feel clunky. I mean, some people may beg to differ. It depends on the amount of apps that you install. And of course, it depends on how you take care of your phone. Uh, some people like to have a fast phone. Some people like a lot of apps. Sometimes a lot of apps also add a lot of bloat. But in this case, uh, if you were to enable developer options, okay, you can essentially adjust background processes. You can also adjust uh, the transition window, transition animation speed. You can see right here, transition speeds to speed up your phone a little bit if that's what you're looking to do. Also, make sure you go into various different apps and disable notifications because that adds a lot of bloat as well. But just in terms of overall speed and everything, that's really where it's been improved the most. Okay, Obviously, I'm in Chrome right here. I could just swipe away tabs, bring my notification bar down. You still have the customized toggles. You can customize this, add, remove things. You have Q slide, of course, which is basically multitasking. Um, so Q slide is right there. Uh, so the, you know a lot of different features, a lot of different add-ons. It's definitely a system that's worth, uh, or definitely an update that's worth looking at. I mean, if if you guys have already received it for your specific carrier, that's fantastic. If not, go to settings, 
go to update I believe it's update center yeah update center and then click on system updates and you should be able to get this update so uh, it's available now this is a T-Mobile model if you haven't already received it go ahead and download it in terms of the camera uh, you can see the camera now it's just a little faster in terms of its shutter speed uh, the camera in my opinion is solid you have mode of course I'm getting a call right there you have various different filters and whatnot you can take a picture easy to do easy enough at least okay you can see I can go to my gallery right here share it edit it crop it etc you have the various different editing options and of course it syncs with third-party apps so you know the update for KitKat of course there's also improvements to Google now tell me the weather tell me the weather so you could just say okay Google it's 66 degrees and most you can say OK Google and it'll essentially bring down all of your, or it'll, it'll access Google now for you. So it's, it's a great system. You can also adjust, of course, the transition. So you can do various different transitions and whatnot. A multitude of different options, a multitude of different features. And we're content with it. M minimal update. It's not too crazy. I mean, it's not like they've added a ton of different features. But it's good enough for what it is. I think a lot of people that have the G2 are already content with what it comes with. But in the case of the... Uh, in the case of this phone, um, uh, really the KitKat update is, is necessary in my opinion. If you want the latest and greatest, you should definitely update the KitKat. Now, if you're looking at installing CM11, check out our comparison that we have, and you can see the differences between the two. Of course, CM11 is a great system as well. It's stock Android. So CM11 is available for the G2. If you're looking at installing that, it's available. Go ahead and do that. They took away the two zeros. You can see that right there. If you remember, they had the two zeros right there. It's now gone. So if you're looking at stock, if you want stock Android without the bells and whistles of LG's overlay, install CM11. It's a good system as well. It's stable. So you can check that out on our channel. We have an installation guide plus a full extensive review. The G2, one of the more, more underrated phones on the market. Definitely a gorgeous device. you got the G Pro 2 coming out, which is a 5.9-inch beast. It's basically the, the phablet version of the G2. You have a ton of great phones coming out. But if you're an owner of the G2, you should feel content. I don't think you should feel like you have to upgrade to anything. The G2 is perfectly fine until a phone comes along that absolutely sweeps you off your feet. So this is the KitKat update. I'm sure there's some features and whatnot that I've missed, but for the most part, it's the, the speed and the fluidity uh, is emphasized on this thing. And it's just a bit more stable with the knock-on feature. So we like it. We like it. Um, otherwise, you guys are watching Technability. I am Berge. We are your source for no-nonsense tech. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to check out technability.com. Follow us on Twitter, Google+, all that good stuff. Uh, listen, we have a giveaway coming out. Uh, we have a contest coming up very soon where we're going to be giving away an HTC M8. That's the one, too. So keep watching. Look out for that. If, you, uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for your chance to win that device. Otherwise, this is KitKat 4.4.2 with LG's overlay, stock OTA update. This phone is not rooted on an LG G2. I am Berge. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourself a nice day.